Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on. Technology will help India become developed nation by 2047, says PM Modi. Pakistan government cracks down on Imran Khan's aides. Top PTI leaders arrested. And Nepal's former Home Minister sent to four days custody in fake Bhutanese refugee scam. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday laid the foundation stone of LIGO, the Laser Inferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and dedicated scientific projects worth over 5,800 crore rupees on the occasion of 25th National Technology Day. LIGO India, which is coming up in Hingoli in Maharashtra, is one of the handful observatories in the world. PM Modi said our goal is to make the country developed and self-reliant by 2047 and technology plays an important role. He said India is growing forward in every direction that is necessary for a tech leader country. 2047 के स्पष्ट लक्ष्य हैं हमें देश को विकसित बनाना है हमें देश को आत्मनिर्भर बनाना है टेक्नोलॉजी कदम कदम पर हमारे लिए जरूरी है and China on Wednesday objected to a proposal by India to blacklist Pakistan-based terrorist Abdul Rauf Azhar at the UN Security Council. India has moved the proposal to include the terror output, jesh -e mohammeds leader in UNSC ISIL and Al-Qaeda sanctions list. Reports suggest earlier in August last year, China, a veto-wielding permanent member of the Security Council, had put a hold on joint proposal by India and the US to designate Azhar as a global terrorist and subject him to an assets freeze, travel ban and arms embargo. Brother of JEM, Chief Masood Azhar, Abdul Rauf has been involved in planning and executing numerous terror strikes in India, including the hijacking of an Indian airline aircraft in 1999, the attack on the parliament in 2001 and the targeting of the Pathankot Air Base in 2016. Well, as protests intensified against the arrest of former PM Imran Khan in a craft case, Pakistani authorities took senior leaders of his PTI party into custody for inciting violence. The country's top court, however, on Thursday termed the PTI chief's arrest as illegal. Pakistan's top court on Thursday ordered release of former Prime Minister Imran Khan after his legal team challenged his arrest amid violent and widespread protests sparked by his detention. Directives from the top court came after it termed the PTI leader's arrest from the premises of Islamabad High Court as illegal and a mighty disgrace to the country's judicial establishment. Khan will now have to appear before the High Court in the Al Qadri Trust corruption case, in which he was sent to eight day custody on Wednesday. At least five people were killed after Khan's supporters clashed with police, attacked military establishments, and set other state buildings in assets ablaze after his arrest on Tuesday. The legal woes of the former PM have, however, not ended as he has been indicted in another case for unlawfully selling state gifts during his tenure. And referring to the recent UN meeting in Doha, EU Special Envoy for Afghanistan Thomas Nicholson has said that the meeting was a welcome initiative by the UN to once more put Afghanistan in focus. He, however, said the ban on Afghan women working for NGOs is having immediate consequences as critical assistance is unable to reach women and children in need in the conservative country. After the Doha meeting in which the Taliban was not invited, UN Chief Antonio Guterres said the United Nations will stay in Afghanistan to deliver aid to millions of desperate Afghans despite the Taliban's restrictions on its female staff, but funding is drying up. He warned of a severe shortfall in financial pledges for its humanitarian appeal this year, which is just over 6% funded, falling short of the $4.6 billion requested. A district court in Kathmandu sent former Home Minister and Nepali Congress leader Bal Krishna Khan to a four-day judicial custody after he was arrested on Wednesday in connection with a fake Bhutanese refugee scam. 
Khan's detention came after the arrest of former Home Secretary Tek Narayan Pandey, who implicated the former minister and his aide in the scam. Police officials have alleged Khan was involved in the racket of sending Nepali nationals to the U.S. in the guise of Bhutanese refugees. So far, 12 people have been arrested. However, the former minister's wife, who is also an accused, is on the run. And in a first, the Indian Council of Medical Research on Wednesday made deliveries of blood bags using drone, which carried 10 units of whole blood samples within a 35-kilometer range for its trial run. While one container of blood was delivered using drone from Delhi's Lady Hardinge Medical College to the Government Institute of Medical Sciences in Noida, another container was sent via an ambulance to compare the difference. An official said the drone-based blood delivery can soon be expanded to the whole country. आज के ड्रोन की खासियत है इसमें ब्लड जा रहा है और ब्लड के प्रोडक्ट्स जा रहे हैं जिनको कि हमें चार डिग्री फ्रिज में रखना होता है या कि फ्रीजर में रखना होता है तो ये टेम्परेचर मेंटेन करते हुए और ये क्योंकि ये ब्लड है कि इसको उड़ने से किसी तरह की वाइब्रेशन से उसमें किसी तरह की कोई खराबी नहीं आए इसका प्रयोग किया जा रहा है and after facing difficult times during COVID-19 pandemic, the horse riding business in India's Kashmir Valley has begun to boom again with a huge influx of tourists. Take a look. The horse and pony riding business, which is dependent on tourists, has been booming again in Sonmarg in India's Jammu and Kashmir after it saw a decline during the COVID-19 pandemic. Sonmarg is a scenic hill station and tourists often hire these horses to explore the surrounding areas and nearby attractions, including the Thajivas Glacier. It is a source of livelihood for many locals in Sonmarg. को यहाँ सोनमर्ग मार्केट से उठाते हैं तो तजवास ग्लेशियर लेते हैं हम इनको पॉइंट दिखाते हैं मूवी पॉइंट जहाँ मूवी शूट हुई है और ग्लेशियर पे हम इनको एडवेंचर भी मतलब एडवेंचर भी होता है घोड़े पे 100 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस देते हैं इनको यहाँ मेरी जो जर्नी है बहुत अच्छी रही है यहाँ के सब लोग है वो भी अच्छे है सब और यह घोड़े सवारी भी बहुत बढ़िया मजेदारी है Kashmir with its pristine beauty has always attracted hordes of visitors from across India and abroad. It is amongst the favourite holiday destination for skiers, travellers and adventure seekers. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.